All right, guys, here we go on the Prelude. You got the head gasket sprayed with copper spray on it. And there's the block, nice and prep. Clean the deck and then the piston. The wall of the cylinder is nice and clean. It's all ready to go. Ready to put the head back on the block. Wow, exciting. And the head, here we go. Came in from the shop, from the machine shop. Nice and clean. So, took it to the engine shop because uh, they uh, installed a new bob stem seals on this. They cleaned the port. And uh, they cleaned the valves. They measured everything. They said it's, everything's good. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, open this up and then show you guys. So this is the intake side. <clears throat> Super clean. I'm just going to have to clean the exhaust one here. So we'll grab a wire brush and then we're gonna wire those out, clean that. All right, so this uh, skunk chew uh, valves right here, this is the intake. We're gonna give a good clean on that. We'll just use a electric drill here and then a wire brush. We're just gonna wire that thing down, all this carbon build up, same thing with the exhaust. It's nice to have a good clean head before we install it. All right, there you go guys. Nice and clean, the intake valve. Not too bad. Now let's do the exhaust. We'll flip it over and then we'll do the exhaust here. All right, there's one of them. It's done. Not too bad. Just use a brake clean to clean all those extra gunk in there. Daddy, mommy give you one more thing, a different taco. What? <laughs> Another taco? <laughs> That's different. Oh, yummy. Okay, thank you. Daddy, for how long are you going to go back? Alright, so after you put a brake clean and uh, give a good wipe, it's looking pretty good. You can, you can see how compare it to the bad one right here so just keep doing that with the rest of the cylinders here and then uh, we'll clean the this gunk out right here from the head gasket i'll show you how to do that all right guys so just use a razor blade uh, clean this uh black spot right here those are just from the head gasket it feels smooth nothing's wrong with it the intake port is really nice and clean Wow, super nice. The dowel pin is uh, installed back on there because when they cleaned this up, uh, they took everything, well, whatever attached to, to the block. So uh, right here, I'm gonna install the, the fitting for the heater hose to go in there, the sensor for the gauge and the Temperature sensor for the coolant. I got the tread sealant on that treads already. We're just gonna need to uh, install this. Ready to go. Make sure to put a O-ring on that one. There's an O-ring. And we're gonna tighten this thing up just like that. All right, guys. <laughs> Jesse, <laughs> what are you playing? <laughs> what game is that? Let's see. I'm trying to figure it ah, out. Ah, like a puzzle. Yeah. All right, here we go. Um, the deck is all nice and clean. The cylinder is super clean now. The piston clean all those carbon build up. Uh, head gasket sprayed with uh, copper spray. Ready to go. Well, let's install this thing. Oh, yeah, because I missed it out. <laughs> all right, here we go. Put it in the hole. That's about right. I... 
Yeah, that's about right. All right, guys, you're starting to put the head. Make sure the bottom of this head is nice and clean and dry. Ready to go. All right, guys, so the dowel pin right here, the dowel pin is on that side. That one gets good. You just need to wiggle this one down to get that dowel pin seated right. The gasket, the head gasket's probably be on the, on the little crooked way, but uh, we're just gonna lift it up. Move the head a little bit. I'm just gonna use a little soft hammer here. We're gonna hammer it down. Just like that. There you go. Nice and flush. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna put the nuts in here and torque it to spec and a pattern. Like always, start in the middle and work your way out. We'll put this washer in here. This washer that goes into here before we, we put the, the nut. The stud is so tiny. It's gonna be hard to put the washer in there. You just need to get a magnet to uh, get it lined up straight. All right, so the stud is like way down here. It's just, it's hard to put my nuts in there. So we'll just use like a little extension and and line her up. Give a couple turns, just like that. It's a should have been nice if it's longer, a little longer, but this is it. All right, so this is the last two right here, and then there is the last one. All right guys, this video, I'll show you how to uh, torque this APR studs. The washer and the nut is all in there. It's bottom out already, so it's ready to torque. Uh, just gonna quickly show you guys this head here. Uh, took it to the shop. They uh, polished the port. Uh, they changed the uh, them seal. Nice and shiny, the port. All nice and fresh, clean. You can tell that it's not a gold color on top of the bob train here on the some Hondas out there. My God, it's like the oil color is like gold. Kind of clean a little bit of here on the exhaust port and uh, head gasket, copper spray on it, ready to go. All right, I'll show you how to uh, torque this APR stud. Let's go. H22 engine head bolts. This is a APR studs. We're gonna torque it to spec. There's three stage of torquing this uh, APR studs. First, uh, 30 foot pounds, 60, and then the last stage is 90. First stage, 30 foot pounds right there. So torque pattern on this will start in the middle and then work your way out. All right, so start right here. I use a 14 millimeter socket with a three-quarter drive. All right, first stage is done, 30 foot-pounds. Now, next one, we're gonna go to 60. Stage two, 60 foot-pounds right here. We're gonna start again in the middle Work your way out, okay? All right, there we go. 60 foot pound, stage two. Next, the last stage is three. This is gonna be the 90, 90 foot pounds. So, same thing, work your way in in the middle, all the way out, okay? This is gonna be a scary one, cause 90 foot pounds, it's kinda scary. Just wait till those threads cool off, maybe about a couple minutes, three or four minutes. 
Well guys, I, I apologize when I look at my video after that, uh, somehow I forgot to press record. So I just went and torqued the bolts. It did not show in the video. So I'm not gonna do it again. I'm not gonna take this thing apart and do it again because it's not on the video. But um, again, uh, three stage on this to torque the, the head bolts using the APR studs. APR start is more kind of heavy duty. Um, better than the uh, OE head bolts. So uh, first stage, you torque it to um, uh, 30 foot pounds. Second stage, uh, 60. And then the final stage, the three stage is 90, 90 foot pounds. So make sure you torque it all those three stage in a bolt pattern, okay? So that's it. Now I'm torque everything down. This is ready to go. It's torqued to spec. So I'm confident with this. You can see our uh, Copper head gasket right there is squished now. You can see the oil. It's coming out because the head bolt is compressed and the head is compressed. All right, so next video, we're gonna do the cam and the sprocket, the cam seals, the cam caps, everything. We'll bolt it down to spec. And then when everything is all lined up, put it on top dead center, the cams. My piston is uh, on the top dead center already. This cylinder number one right here and number four is on the top. Three and two is on the bottom. And when everything is all bolted down, uh, adjust the valve adjustment, intake and exhaust. And then, uh, yeah, this is gonna be ready to go. Ready to drop into the hole right here. It's been a while. Can't wait to uh, get that engine drop in here. Uh, new parts came in. I got my innovation uh, traction bar came in. That's gonna be installed after the engine. Uh, ABS line delete. I'm gonna get the proportion valve to come in. I clean up all these hoses right here. Clean up the engine bay. Ready to go. All right, guys. That's the update. Stay tuned for the next one, and I'll see you again on the next video.